Hello everyone, it's Christy Trina here talking to you live from New Westminster, New Westminster, British Columbia, Canada. As you can see, I was just finishing, up, finishing off my workout and I thought I'm going to start it like this. as my big rosy cheeks and my sweaty palm head. And hopefully I'm not too red because this hair kind of ble bleeds because it's fashion color, right? And I just wanted to make sure that I started this off in a different way. And I'm going to do this today. And because it kind of kind of is a part of what I'm talking about today. Hi Yusuf, hi, hi Danelle. Hi Tiffany. So, here's my question. Self-worth versus self-love. Is it one of the same or is it a little different? Well, hi Sherry, how you doing? I thought I'd talk about this topic today. And I think I finished my exercises, okay? Because this is part of what I'm talking about. I do this for me because I love myself and I exercise every day to stay strong and healthy. I'm just finishing off, checking out something and then we're going to continue because I want to finish off my subject. It's just I thought this is better to talk about while I'm exercising to start with. 21 minutes. Two hours and one minute. That's good. So the reason why I want to talk about this today is because <clears throat> it's kind of a history of mine in my life, self-worth and self-love. And they're kind of basically the same, but they're a little different. And I thought... Why not do it right after I'm finishing my exercises, eh? Why not? What the hell, eh? I'm game for something new. I mean, there's a lot of stuff I want to do in my life still, but baby steps for me, guys. Baby steps for me. But here, I had a good workout, burned a lot of good calories. I'm happy. I've actually had a good day so far. I've done a lot of good things. I've still got a lot more to do. It's still early. It's still early, early here on the West Coast of BC. How about that? Because uh, it's basically uh, now 1.32 in the afternoon here in BC. I'm going to turn off my TV because we don't want to have too much noise. Oh, pardon me. <laughs> I'm tripping myself, eh? So let's turn this off for a second here while I continue on with my subject. And my little kitty cat down below is being a really goofy girl. Yes, she is. Now, I'm just going to get my little notes here, guys. Put you down for a minute because I hope I'm not too full of... Because my hair does bleed when I sweat because I just got it done yesterday. So I'm going to put you guys down as you can see. Oh, yeah. That's me. You're seeing the real me after I work, got all flushed and probably full of a bit of a ink thing from my hair. <laughs> now I'm just going to go through this because I do have it written down here what I want to talk about because I really thought it would be an interesting thing to talk about. It's just the way my life is these days. Yeah. Uh, pardon me. I got a lot lots to talk about, but I wrote it all down. Self-worth vs. self-love. Now I'm just going to do a small meaning about both and then I'm going to give you the reason why <clears throat> this sort of interprets my life, okay? Now, self-worth, as I read it from the dictionary, is a sense of one's own values worth as a person. Opinion you have about yourself on, and the value you place on yourself. Your belief that you are <coughs> excuse me, a good person who deserves good things, or you believe you're a bad person, you believe bad things. We all assess the worth as a human being, and some of these are more psychologically beneficial than others. Now, it's kind of like self-esteem, but self-esteem, I think, is a little different because it's like self-esteem is what you think and how you feel about yourself. So it's a little different. Now, <clears throat> self-worth recognizes I am greater than all those things. It's kind of neat, right? So because I, I heavily influence people, choices, and decisions. Um, now we're going to talk about self-love. That's just something I've written out down, and it's just sort of it reminds me of stuff what happened to me as I, grew, as I grow older and how I'm learning to better myself and how things are working out for me. This is the reason why I talk, talked about the subject today and I'm checking my time to make sure I do as quick as I can. So self-love is when someone is so comfortable, confident and accepting of themselves that outside opinions do not deter them from their goals, dreams, passions, desires and happiness. A lot of self-acceptance, it's, it's not, it's self-respect and a positive self-image. Unconditional self-acceptance doesn't mean you're conceited. It doesn't mean you're conceited. It's having a healthy regard for yourself, that you are worth, you are a worthy human being, and the idea is, is interesting. You practice good self, uh, self-aware, self-boundaries. Protect yourself. Forgive yourself. Live, and in, live intentionally of who you want to be. So I like these interests because I think. For a lot of years, my self-love uh, and my self 
birth kind of coincided together because when I was a child, for example, and I was uh, high through elementary and high school, I was bullied quite a bit. So my self-love was kind of low. You know, I really didn't love myself as a person because I was a chubby little girl. And I would keep looking at myself and go, ugh, I'm ugly and fat. And that's what I always would think when I was a kid because I was so bullied so bad in elementary school and high school. And so I didn't think well of myself. I didn't think that I would achieve what I wanted to achieve. I didn't think I was worth it. I didn't think... I. My, my self-image of, of myself was negative, okay, when I was young. And also, um, I would say that uh, I didn't think that much value of myself when I was a teenager and a kid, child. But it changed, actually, by the end of high school when I lost a ton of weight and I began to love myself as who I was. And I had a nice set of friends who liked me for who I was as a person. So my self-worth... My self-image of self who I was was good. And I realized I deserve to have these good friends. I deserve that in my life. And then a few, a number of years later when I got, when I, uh, with my ex-husband, as you can tell, he's an ex-husband. Um, I'm just fast forwarding here in my late twenties and my thirties. He was very abusive and he didn't treat me as well as he actually, because I was plus size most of the time I was married. I mean, I lost a bit of weight here and there and I had my son. And oh my God, it was my best thing in my life when I had my son. I, my self-worth went up. My self-love went up way up high because I realized, oh, look what I, look what I created. Actually, what by Sweden I created. A little, sweet little boy who I truly love and I deserve to have a child. Hey, Lee, how you doing? So, yeah, we are created in God's image. And we, are, we are beautiful. Yeah, that's why I'm continuing here. So, basically, those 15 years of marriage were really hard for me and it drove my self-worth down to the two because I figured, ah, I guess I'm not, I'm not going to, I can't, I'm not, I don't deserve anything else. So there you go. I got nothing else in my life. Um, I'm not worth it. You know, I, I, I felt really low about myself, but he did the best thing he did after 15 years marriage. He left me and I'm glad he did because I met somebody much better in my life who loved me for who I was as a person. He didn't care that I was overweight. He loved me inside, you know, and I just filled me up to the brim of happiness within myself. Um, and I realize I have self-worth. I deserve happiness. I deserve to have a good life. I deserve to have, to be happy within myself, to be happy with the man I'm with, be happy with the job I have. And I deserve everything I do. I deserve it. I have self-worth. I did. I did. And I continue to have self-worth to this day. I mean, sure, um, I had a lot of ups and downs this past 20 years with my sweetie. But he treats me with a loving respect that I deserve to have. We all deserve love and respect. We all deserve to be happy. We have, each one of us has self-worth inside, true, right? Each one of us have beauty inside ourselves. We just have to bring it out. And I've learned this, actually, more so this past two years and more so this past few months. But the past two years, when I lost a lot of weight and learned to love myself even more, I mean, I still do it. I mean, this is how I start my day, okay? And this is how I do it for myself because I love me. I do my gratitude because I'm always very thankful. I do my affirmations to keep my mind positive, And I do these meditations to calm and take care of me. And the reason why I got off the machine as I was talking to you is because that's what I do. I exercise every day because I know I deserve to stay strong and healthy. So my self-worth has gone up even more. And this past few months... It's even even better. I mean, it's a work in progress, my self-love, but it's getting really good. Because the reason why I tell you that, guys, is because I take a wonderful class, a work class, which I truly love. Hey, Kimberly, how you doing, girl? And with this wonderful work class, uh, I took for a while a different one. It's still, and the new one I have now, it's to do with self-love and who we are as each human beings. To love and care for ourselves, give ourselves love, and know we are we have, each one of us have, have self-worth inside. True, right? Each one of us deserve happiness. Each one of us deserve loving friendships. Each one of us deserves a good life, whether it be financial, whether it be spiritual, whatever life you want. You deserve to have a good life. You deserve it all. And you deserve to be, and you love. Each one of us should love ourselves, who we are inside. Regardless if you make a, regardless if, I mean, I show you this to me now. I mean, my hair has changed because I like to color my hair differently, right? But this is me. Rose the old cheeks after workout, I'm, you know? And of course, my hair bleed, bled a bit because it was my first day after my got my hair done. But this is me. I love the way I look. No, I love the way I look. 
I love the way my personality is. I love a lot about me. And I'm learning this more so this past few weeks as I do this wonderful work class. And it's really taught me an awful lot. And the reason why I started to do these lives is because I know I have good self-worth. I deserve to get out there and tell everybody who I am. And this is me. This is me. So I think self-love and self-worth sort of come together. When you start to love yourself, you start to gain your self-worth for you. This is what I've sort of figured out. So guys, I'm going to give you some examples of how I think that self-worth are good. Each one of us, again, have a sense of self-worth. Each one of us des deserves so much for ourselves. And so when we love ourselves more so each day, we have the self-worth of brimming up inside because we know we're worth it. And it's not it's conceited if you love yourself. No, because all it means is that you respect you for who you are and you know that you deserve an awful lot in your life. It could be happiness with the one you love. It could be happiness for yourself. It could be just uh, having an awesome job to go to every day or working at home as I do as an entrepreneur. I love my work at home. And that's why I knew my self-love and self-worth was getting stronger because a few months ago, I decided to make a change in my life. And now I'm an entrepreneur. I became doing something new. And I'm going to stick to it because I deserve to have a happy life. I deserve to do what I want to do for myself and for everyone around me. Because for so many years, I didn't do that. But now I have this self-worth and I have this self-love. Now, it's increasing each day my self-love for me. And the more I do things for me, the more I do things for everybody around me, the more things... The more I give positive vibes to everybody, the self-love continues each day. So I urge you all, do things for yourself. Look at yourself in the mirror your day, each day as I do. It's a, new, it's a new thing I do, but I like to do it. And tell yourself you love you. Tell yourself, I love you. You're amazing. You're a wonderful human being. I love you. You're the best person ever. And really give yourself that self-love. Um, I also do, I make promises to myself as well, which is something we did the other day and actually it's a promise that I'm getting I'm done for two days now to get up a little extra early to do my meditation my gratitude and my nice quiet meditation and I'm actually doing this past two days and I'm actually doing a few more things in the morning the exercise came because I wanted to sort of do that before I started my chat with you guys so there you go that's my take my thoughts my thoughts on self-worth versus self-love are they the same or are they just different? And I think they kind of come together. The two beautiful things that come together for yourself is who you are. So that's my take, guys. I hope you had a good listen because I enjoy talking about it. And thank you, Kimberly and Sherry and Lee. Oh, I know there's more people up there. I just, I'm on my tablet, so I can't quite see everybody. But mwah to you all who came to say hello. And we're going to talk again probably this Friday. I'm just having, I have a subject I want to talk about then. But I'll let you guys know. You are wonderful to see. Thank you very much for coming on and listening to me. I really appreciate it. So you guys have a lovely day or an evening or wherever you may be. I love you all. You're beautiful, beautiful people inside and out. I love you all. And you're beautiful people, beautiful human beings. A lot to you all. Talk to you soon. Thanks for listening and checking me out today. Bye.